Assessing Model Fit In this session, we are going to look into how to assess model fit. Understanding Model Fit The researcher first specifies a model based on the theory, then determines how to measure the construct, collect data, and then input the data into the SCM software package. So this is the whole process starting with the model building based on the theory and then adding your data into SCM software package for structural equation modeling. The package actually fits the data into the specified model and produces the results, which include overall model fit statistics and parameter estimates. Now model fit is actually the feasibility of the model with the data, whether your data actually fits the proposed model or not. Now, there are a number of statistics or indices that one can use to assess whether your data is actually fitting the model or not. AMOS will provide you with number of different indices. But the most commonly used are these ones. Now, each of these fit indices have got their own good fit or the cutoff value. For example, for chi-square, your p-value should be greater than 0.05. However, this is very sensitive to the sample size. So, if you've got a higher sample size, then there is highly likely that you won't get a good fit. The next is GFI and AGFI. GFI greater than 0.95, AGFI greater than 0.90. NFI and NNFI, both of them should be greater than 0.95. CFI greater than 0.95. Zero. RMSCA should be less than 0.08, SRMR less than 0.08 and your average variance extracted which is a measure of convergent validity should be greater than 0.5. Now there are different debates on which fit indices we should use. For example, in one of the earlier lectures I mentioned that this should be 0.90 for TLI. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to use a more liberal approach towards fit indices. We are going to use 0.90 for CFI, for TLI, for GFI, AGFI. 